Learn ABC. LGBT really is an umbrella term that encompasses a really diverse number of communities. Gay folks, bisexuals, transgendered folks, people who are intersex. Really, it's an umbrella term that... But have they, sort of they've expanded it, right? I mean, they've, a lot of people have expanded it to a lot of different letters. So I prefer to, prefer to use the term GSRM, which stands for Gender, Sexual, and Romantic Minorities. Um, what, what, is that, what does that mean? Encompassing. Really, it's just a way to refer to the number of diverse <laughs> communities that is included when we're talking about LGBT folks. Online, when we were looking all this stuff up, we got LGBT, T, P, Q, Q, 2, Q squared? 2 is for two-spirited. It is such a royal letter. Yeah. Can you feel like a man and a woman at the same time? Absolutely. How do you how do you do that? Um, you just feel it. You know what I mean? Like, how, how do you know you're a man right now? I don't. I have no idea. Q R. What was the third letter of that? M. The M. Romantic. Romantic. How does how does that fit in? So some people just might identify as a romantic. Um, or not engage in romantic relationships or engage in romantic relationships with someone of one gender, a sexual relationships with people of another gender. I mean, there are lots of complex ways that humans are humans and, and love one another. Obviously, I'm already confused. We're curious about some of the terms being used for the LGBT community. And I want to see if you, okay. if you know what these mean, you can tell me. What's, what's a bi-gender person? Um, a person that doesn't necessarily stick to the gender binary, which means choosing one gender, either male or female. They can be either in a place in between or both. Yeah. What's the difference between the Q and the L and the G? Um, Lesbian, gay, is, or isn't that the same as Q? Not all the time. Okay. No, the letter G makes a G sound, as in gasp. <gasps> gender queer is similar to bi-gender. It just means somewhere in the in the spectrum. Um, or that in some way you are queering up gender, meaning you are changing it, you are seeing a different light. I think it's by, defined by the person. What do you define yourself as? Gay. Yes, okay. Gay man. Do you do not define yourself as queer? No. Okay, but some people do. Some people would, yeah. What's the difference between the, the queer and the lesbian and gay? Well, I am a gay male. Okay. People might identify as a lesbian female. And then queer is somebody who doesn't feel the need to identify with any of those. What do you got so far? Look at and see. H I J K L M N O P. What is genderless? Um, also called agender, it means you completely lack a gender, or possibly you don't believe in gender because it's a social construct. Okay. It's something that was created to uh, repress people and oppress people. Okay. What's on your sign? This is RuPaul. Okay, that's a man. This gender is the opposite of transgender, so if okay. you identify your gender with the biological sex you were born. So if you were born with a penis and you identify as a man, you're a cisgender. Okay, so I'm a cisgender. Yes. Okay, got it. glad we you, cleared we that up. We, don't, we can't force a label on anybody. You can't force me to be cisgender, but I'm going to say I'm, I'm going to do that. What's the difference between a transgender and a transsexual? A transsexual is somebody that was born with both or born as somebody that has an identity and then transgender is somebody who's changing their gender. Okay, physically changing their gender. Right. I mean, there are a lot of heterosexual, cisgender people who identify as queer um, because they've stopped seeing patriarchy, they've stopped seeing the world in these black and white terms. But if you're queer, you're, you're gay. If you're queer, you're what you define yourself as. Pansexual. Uh, pansexual is a very specific term. It means that you are gender blind. You don't see gender in people at all. You just see humans, you see people. Are you pangender? Pan, are sexual. you pansexual? No. No, you're not. Okay, so it's just kind of like, I'm not telling. It's up to them, right? You see them in you're very informed about this, you know that? I'm a uh, women, gender, sexuality studies major. All right, in the state. I'm glad we found you. Queer would be something of a mixture. Not necessarily bisexual, but you're not on one certain. It's not just men attracted to men, it'd be more fluid than that. This calls for more glitter! Gender and sexuality are not really related. Um, you can change one uh -huh. and not change the other. You can change both. Um, this is a lot to think about. If that okay. explains it. it it's, it's a little difficult a, to understand, to be honest with you. Right. Excuse me, sir. What, what kind of fairy are you? Uh, fairy godmother. You're a fairy godmother? Yeah. Okay, I just want to know, because there are lots of different kinds of fairies. Yep.